All right, there. I'll make Yorkie here. Taking you off to a game that's still in early access. Has been so for a few years and has developed quite well, I understand. Which is Empires of the Undergrowth. Anyone remember Siman? It's the same kind of thing. All right. New Formicarium files. Ant colour. Let's go for the black ants, shall we? Give the country a name. Oh. Yorkie Carrium. There we are. Right, first things first, we need to find ah, various I things. I see the Queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's That's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long and Time time notifications with symbol or tips with the light bulb will appear right here. Right click the icon to remove it. Okay. Until we can expect to see into And welcome to Paul McKenna. This is your hope from which you will launch levels. Okay. Species polymorphism. We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Find your colony, you're going to need space. When no tool is selected, selecting an undug tile will mark it for evacuation. Or excavation rather. If workers reach the tile, they will head to it and dig it out. And just to the south of the queen is some food marked by a green outline. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. It's Beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. Got seven ants now. Okay. What else do you need? Ants sees food, it will pick it up and bring it to the colony. Why do you have enough storage space? Once stored in the nest, the nest the value of food will be added to your resource counter on the top right. Okay. Now that you have some resources, you can build some new workers. Select the Brood tile tab, on the bottom right, and select the Formica Adapter Worker. That should be this, I believe. Where are we? Upgrade. Bid up, is this? Worker Ant. Okay, I guess uh, what we can do is open up an area. Yeah, your nest design will affect how your column performs. Ants receive a movement speed when they walk on brood tiles. So building corridor corridors and closed off rooms allows faster movement around the nest. Okay, and any idle worker may bring an egg to the New eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. Uh, in the bottom middle of the screen is your pheromone group assignment panel. Your ants are displayed here in, uh, based on their room, and hovering over them will highlight the room. Uh, drag your ants from one nest group to the end. Then right click. Okay. On a dugout tile, your ants will notice the pheromone marker and head to it. The top left is a level selected dialogue. From here, you can see available levels and also Formicadium challenges. Selecting a level will take you to a standalone level, and winning will provide you with rewards for your Formicadium. Formicadium challenges will put Formicadium to test. Okay.
I guess there's no more food there. I guess there is no more food there. First group of the pheromone uh, group panel is the nest group. Works in the nest group will do jobs around the nest. This includes digging, carrying eggs, nurseries, and building upgrading tiles. If they've got food, which we don't anymore. Level selection. Bob Micarium Challenge. This is a gateway mission. Test the might of your Formicarium colony. Will it survive whatever the scientists have planned? Unlock the next mission. Wards a whole bunch of stuff. What else are we here? Once you are ready, open the level select in the top left and select level to play. Well, there's only one that we can play. What's adaptations? Thief Queen or... Oh, we don't have any... Don't have any of that. Well, there's only one thing we can do, and that's go here. Unless. Ah, new home. A new Formica uh, Fosca character has set up home in a rotting log. Establish themselves with no simple task. Play the level. Outside of the Formicarium, digging is free, and there is. No adaptations menu. These levels are set up with units you can build. Tile upgrades uh, are automatically unlocked. Okay. This Formica Fusca Queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Alright, so we've got some storage there. Got some enemies up there. Red is dangerous. That's them going down. And we've also got these. this up a little bit. Black Amp Brood Tile. Four black ants, what's this? In addition to workers, the black ant colony can produce soldiers. These are combat units and will not form nest jobs. Although they can pick up and harvest food. They deal much more damage than workers and have more health. These woodworm will not fight back, and once killed can be taken back to your nest as well. Don't have enough to do anything else there. I think it might be who was to work this way. I'm on level two. Brought them over there. And we're going in here. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. 
Oh god, they beat they beat our ants. However, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Looks like we've got them. Looks like we've got them. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Camp place for nest group. Get them back here. Let them grab the food. And then let's get some more soldiers out. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Right, fine. We can get three more workers. That looks like the next set to go for then. I'll put that down there. That digging up there. I'm not collect any more food. Yeah. Level uh, get the number one ants up here. And let them dig that out. Those are 40 ants, cannot collect any more food. And it's not letting me build up any further. Bring them up to there. Dig that. There are intruders in the nest. There we are, more devil's coach horses. They're coming down. Uh oh. We got one of them. We got another yet. We've got two of them. We got three. And right there, we've got some, uh, and indeed over here, got some food. them to dig this out. These also, wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. All right, let's try and get them in. Get our uh, soldier ants up there. Got one. What's this? Flavio Devil's Coach also will attack ants on site. They deal medium damage and fight fast. Wise take on groups of them only when you outnumber them. Yep. Once tile is surrounded by six tiles of the same type or walls, it can be upgraded. From the build menu, select the upgrade tool, and you will now see that uh, it can be upgraded to a complete circle. Okay. Would like some thick armor and will take a while to kill. They hunker down, their ability provides them with uh, increased defense. Reducing physical damage. Once killed, it can be harvested. Well, they're not doing us any harm, but they will eventually give us food. Let this lot get up here. Food stores are full.
Four out of six, five out of six, six out of six. So I can upgrade that. I can upgrade that and I can upgrade that. A tile's owned by two level tiles from upgrade to level three. Uh, each upgrade makes sense to produce by that tile more powerful. Oh, nice. So then it pays for me to have more of these around so I can upgrade the uh, upgrade these. Soldier ants coming in. Taking the wood lights down. Slowly taking the wood lights down, but uh, we are getting them. enough food for anything else there. Here we go. These are some big patches of uh, Devil's Coach also. I assume that's what they are. The ants assigned to pheromone groups can be told not to gather food, not to attack, etc. All right. up here. Let's go back to upgrade. Well, we've got eight out of eight ants now. Good. Good. Not sure if that's enough though. Get some more. We're out of food again. food again so I've got to decide where to go and I see that there's a the small is starving there's not enough food to feed the new brood that's fine there are intruders in the nest Coach also is going down. And all the food's coming back. 11 out of 12 for the soldier ants. Another little section here. Predators are loose in the nest. The not for much longer. Protected. Not for much longer, they're not. Ah, that's one gone kaput, and there's the other. Bring the food back. Oh, 
another upgrade. Looks like we're doing okay. Kinda need some more food though, don't we? Massive amounts of food up there, but we've got all these enemies here. This looks like a smaller patch of enemies. So let's uh, dig that there. Dig one here. Do that. Just that one for now. And let our soldiers get at them. Predators are loose in the nest. Not for much longer. Well, they must be There's what, five of them? Six, maybe? I'm down to five. He was down to four. Three, two, one, and bye-bye, Devil's Coach horses. That looks like some free food up there. Move them up. Move one up as well. That's a small number of enemies. We can do them once we've got the food sorted out here. And there we are. All of the wood lice. Let's have a look at upgrades. Turning those wood lights over. They ain't got no chance against our soldiers. And they're bringing food back. Oh. Doesn't look like they have. Uh, it looks like there might just be a few devil's coach horses, which we can take on. two down here. And dig through to them. Predators are loose in the nest. The ah, they're about to die. Be protected. We got them. That's another, that's another. There they are. Predators are no longer loose in the nest. Oh look, there's a woodlouse up there. So let's see about getting some more ants down. Don't have any food for it, that's fine. Okay, we've got God at the moment. In the meantime, let's see where the next lot is. I think it's these. Oh, we've got to uh, get number one up here. Because there's still a couple of wood lice there that we can get.
we finish them off? Yep. That looks like a big swarm. Alright, let's put two there. And get... Oh, that's solid rock. Two there. Predators and that's... The oh, this is a bigger oh, one. They must be protected. That's a bigger one, a much the bigger one. stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle. Oh, God. And it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected Not by good. thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating... We got it! The we got the bugger! The is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Got the bugger! Nice. This one. Bugger on Devil's Court Charles is aggressive as less health pool and a uh, large health pool rather and a powerful bite, able uh, slow bite. It will periodically spray directly in front of it with a foul smelling secretion which confuses and sit by it. Large horse bring it up. We brought it down. What are you talking about? We rule this nest, son. Right, two. Do I want to do that yet? No, I want to do this one. One. This looks like it's just... Uh, ferocious walls, shall we say. Predators that are loose in the nest. Yep, it's just the, the baby, so... Must be protected. Just the babies. There's some wood lice in there to get food from. Count the two of them. Got them! Bring one up into there to make sure they can see all that food. Any more upgrades? Yeah, there's that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. There are a few which can be increased once we've got the stuff for it. Not enough food yet, though. Right, we've cleared out that area. Bring them down here. Predators are loose in the nest. Get up the there, fight them. Be protected. Quite a few of them, but we'll get them. Those devil's court horses have no chance against them. Not the babies, anyway. The bigger ones had a bit of a problem, but we can take them down even then. Nice. Put the number ones in there. And that looks like free food. They put the number twos in there. Put the number ones in there. And let's see about upgrading. Got 
a lot of level 3s now. Looks like we've cleared that lot. Got three sections left to do. One over there, two over there. I think that's roots and stuff. Here come the workers. The inner way. Right. Number two's up there. Number one's up there. Dig that in. Predators are losing. be a big fight. The larvae must but be. But at least protected. it's only the little ones, the little devil's coach horses. It won't last long against us. Get in there, my son. Let's clear that out. Got that one and that one. Lots of food. Should be plenty of them upgraded. I can get them workers up here. get into there. Never mind. Let's work here first. Right, level two. And dig that. 
predators are loose in the nest. Got to take them down, don't they, Wally? Must be protected. This might be the last section, is it? No, there's uh, this one somewhere. Right there. Got the food. do for workers. Now. And that's going to be a hard fight, I think. That looks like a swarm, and I bet there's one of the big ones with it. There are intruders in the. There it is. The two of the big ones. Oh god. Oh god. There's two of the big ones. Hope we've made enough food from the other places. They're through. We are losing out big time here. Getting some of the babies down. Might have got all the babies, I'm not sure. Come on, take them down. Just the two big ones. Just the two big ones. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. We got one of them, just the one big one. Just the one big one. Take him down! You got him! You got him. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Nice! Victory! Choose a reward! Extra territory, don't really need that. Extra food. Or extra royal jelly. Jelly is used to acquire new species advance or upgrades for those species. Do this from the adaptations menu in the top left of the formicarium. Uh, extra territory allows you to mark areas for exploration. Your uh, one tile can be marked for each point of territory. Or, food is used to create new tiles, create existing tiles, and hatch. Let's go for that. And, I think we end level. How did we do? 14,000. Return to Formicarium. And that's where we'll end for today. So, hit the like, comment, and subscribe if you want the channel to grow. And I'll see you around.